This is what F1 team bosses say about Lewis Hamilton. There's no doubt whatsoever that Lewis Hamilton brought something special to the tracks. Winning seven championships to date and almost won his eighth in the last race of the 2021 season. With the fallout from the dramatic Abu Dhabi Grand Prix finale, Lewis has stayed away from the media and there are speculations that the driver may not return to the tracks. Do you think he'll return? Whether he does or not, F1 team principals have shared their thoughts about the driver and these are some of them. Watch the video to the end to find out. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications. Frederic Vasseur The Alfa Romeo boss was generally known as a father of two rookies in Formula One. Frederic is known for his success in fostering young talent. Before starting his racing team ASM, he studied aeronautics and engineering. He eventually found his way into Formula One as race director and team principal for Renault F1 before leaving the team in 2016 because of different visions in managing the team to that of the team's senior management. Frederick has a long history in motorsports, having managed teams like Sauber, ART, Renault and currently Alfa Romeo. The Frenchman is fond of Hamilton because he raced the ART GP in both Formula 3 and GP2 in 2005 and 2006. I think he was able to manage this kind of situation in 2007 and 2008 at the beginning of his Mercedes journey. He's a competitor and I have no fear for him. He will be a fighter until the end. It's difficult to know that. It's a very tight fight, but I think one of the topics is also reliability. This could be a game changer for the championship because they are so close. Every single small event could decide the championship, but I will say Lewis. While his support of Hamilton was clear, he mentioned what he believed as the fiercest battle was between Mercedes and Red Bull. The performance of Mercedes isn't the problem, it's about how Mercedes reacts to what's happening. I remember Max perfectly when he was racing go-karts. I was there with Charles Leclerc, and he, Max, went directly to F3 where he was strong. He was becoming stronger and stronger in F1. Maybe not in terms of raw pace, but in terms of everything else. He's a strong guy who gets the job done. Mattia Binotto The Ferrari chief has been with Ferrari since the 90s and served in various capacities for the team. When he joined the team in 1995, he started in the engine department and was part of the team's successes in the early 2000s. Having raced against Hamilton for years, the Ferrari principal is experienced in the racing style of the driver. It's an exciting battle after all. They are two extraordinary drivers and very talented. One has already shown it and the other has undisputed speed from everything he has shown. It would be good for Formula 1 if someone comes to oust the previous world champion from his throne. In this case, that means Max Verstappen would become the new world champion and beat Lewis Hamilton this season. I hope that makes him happy, but I put my money on Lewis anyway. Lewis drives for Mercedes and together they have everything in order. That's why I think Hamilton has the best chance to win the title again. Of course, I also enjoy the battle that's going on between the two drivers and teams, Mercedes and Red Bull. It's a very exciting battle, which hopefully will last until the end of the season. That is good for the entire Formula 1. Christian Homer The Red Bull boss is known to be a strong supporter of Max Verstappen, especially after they work in the same team. At 36, Horner was the youngest team principal to win a Formula 1 Constructors' Championship. In 2011, Horner and the team won their second Constructors' Championship, with Sebastian Vettel becoming the world's youngest double champion. In 2012, the team won their third Constructors' Championship, with one race to spare. Christian has never been shy about heaping praises on Max Verstappen, but having witnessed Hamilton's growth in the game, he has a unique respect for the British driver. Hamilton has done well for himself and I have deep admiration for him. I believe that he's unlocked a different level. I think he's at a good level in general. He's been delivering well all year. When you point a finger in a direction, there are three more pointing back at you, and the one that is really feeling the pressure is Lewis. You know, dirt on the tyres, he had a moment behind Lewis with a couple of laps to go and that just seemed to just give Lewis enough of a breather, but uh, a great race, a tough one to lose, but… Lewis is fighting to be the most successful driver of all time because he's the defending champion. Time never stands still and Lewis has achieved so much, a phenomenal champion, but there is always going to be the next generation. Homer has been with Red Bull since 2005 and won several championships with Sebastian Vettel. In a team principal's press conference, Homer was asked for his thoughts if the championship battle between Max and Lewis ended up in a collision like Ayrton Senna and Alain Prost did back in the 1989 Japanese GP. He said, I was disappointed to read the comments that was being condoned, but I think we want a really fair fight between now and the end of the championship, and I think any driver would want to win the championship on track. 
and I think we are a team of racers, and if we can pull off this feat, and it's a massive, massive task, then we wouldn't want to win a championship through a collision between two drivers. There's been enough already. I think what we saw in Austin was a great fight between two drivers very much at the top of their game, and with a few more races between now, Austin, and the end of the year, I think the biggest winner will be Formula 1. Nobody wants to see a championship decided in the gravel trap. Toto Wolff Toto, as Mercedes Formula 1 principal, has won seven consecutive world championships, making it the most successful F1 team in the world in terms of consecutive championships. Wolff began his motorsport career in the Austrian Formula Ford Championship and the German Formula Ford Series. As an investor, Wolff founded March 15 in 1998 and March 16 Investments in 2004 with initial focus on internet and technology companies. He specializes in strategic investments in medium-sized industrial and listed companies, which have included Williams F1 and German HWA AG. Toto and Hamilton began their Mercedes career together and have won several championships together. You can simply agree that Toto knows Hamilton best of all F1 team principles. Toto Wolff said, Hamilton performs best when his back is against a wall. They've woken up the lion and he is absolutely on it. Brutal and cold-blooded. This is the best with Lewis we've seen in the past. Maybe he tapped into something different in Brazil, but I like to think he will deliver to the end. I love that he is constantly learning, learning more about everything, his surroundings and particularly the car. Yeah, it shows, um, it shows how he's capable to uh, cope with the situation that, w that went against him at the beginning. He was the only one who kept it on the road. He knows how to work with the team and get the best out of every individual on the team. I think when adversity happens, it takes him to a place where he's able to mobilize superhero powers. The adversity triggered that special race at Interlagos. Lewis and I are on this journey together. We both joined the team together in 2012 and it's not always easy. We've had good times and also tough times when we've had to mobilize whatever inch we had left in us and the respect between the individuals. Everybody plays in their positions, but Lewis is the most important contributor. There is nobody as talented as Lewis. All the great sports teams know that it's a journey and it's about the best individuals with the right motivation coming together at a certain time and then setting new benchmarks. I like to think that all of us have done well. It's not just been me, but also the engineers, the mechanics, absolutely every individual on the team that has pulled out more, most especially Lewis. What has always been needed was the performance, and it is important that to perform, the driver must focus and use power and strength to improve at every chance. When the goalpost is always moving, Lewis is always trying to level up, always trying to improve. I think in competition, Lewis is always putting himself as the benchmark in the sense, constantly trying to beat previous versions of himself and be better than he was before. What do you think about Lewis Hamilton? Do you agree with any of the team bosses? Let us know your answers in the comments box. If you enjoyed the video, leave us a like and share the video with your friends.